What's up, Kerbal Knots? This is Noel on PC, and obviously we're playing KSP again. 1.1 has reinvigorated me. I've been playing it like crazy. And because of the frame rate issue, you know, I've said it all along, we're able to do bigger and better than before. So I kind of always had an idea on the back burner, but before it was fucking impossible. You could not build something that large and then do what we're going to do to it and have you be okay with it. So this is experiment test number one. Uh, we've got the little F-18 out and we're gonna fly it out over the water a little ways up ahead. 7.1 kilometers away is my attempt at an aircraft carrier. The amount of parts required to make an aircraft carrier is, you know, it's, it's astronomical. So to get that kind of part count in say, I'm definitely gonna need steering here. Sorry, I'm just thinking this landing through, brakes on, landing gear down, I'm gonna speed check the whole way. Yeah, I got this figured out. Okay, as I was saying, the part count on 0.9 and 1.0 and 1.0.5 just did not a lot for this kind of play. I mean, you could do it, it just, you're not gonna get the frames. You're just not gonna get frames. If you don't have frames, you can't land. It's like any game. So that's going to be the trick with this, is we're going to get within two kilometers, and there is going to be a frame dip, obviously, but we're going to use that to our advantage, because that's basically going to slow time down a little bit, get me in the zone, like Maverick. Is this? Oh, I should I should build uh, I should build a like a there's I could just move the nose forward and put that second cabin in. And then I could have a co-pilot. What do I got in there? Kearney? It's a good thing I didn't bring Jeb. Or someone important, you know, because Kearney is probably going to die. I can't imagine this ending in anything but just a catastrophic fireball. Okay, I think we're going way too fast. We're doing like, a hundred and, like 120, 130, and there's no tow hook. Like, they don't have that feature yet in KSP. So basically, we're going to have to, like, we're going to have to control hopefully about 40, just under 40 probably is where I'd like to be. We're going to have to hold that and not kill ourselves or anybody. In the, we're going to kill someone in the process. Oh, God. Oh, God. Go left. Go left. Go left. Go left. Go left. Oh, go left. Oh, go left. Go left. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's working. Oh my god, it's working. It's not twerking. <laughs> Shit. Don't. Huh. Well, here's our first look at the aircraft carrier. Let's spin this around a bit. Give you a little look-see. It's made up of empty fuel tanks. Bajillions of them. All right, put a little tower in there. Uh, I probably shouldn't have, because <laughs> that's just causing, it's causing a lot of human error. Uh, underneath, more fuel tanks. Uh, these are the, the just the round structural tanks. They're not fuel tanks that come out of the structural parts. They create a lot of the buoyancy and whatnot. And way back in the middle there, right at the center of gravity, is four... Can I right-click them? Why can't I right-click? Oh, I can't right-click them because I'm not in this craft. It's those engines that toggle between the two fancy modes, you know? Got some of those in there. These things. Uh, Panthers, right on. Okay. So that... That failed fucking miserably. Uh, we could try again, I guess. I really don't see this ever succeeding, because that thing is... I, I just think that runway is way too short. Yeah, it's just it's just way too short to get the brakes on. Unless we put, like... Could put, like, a single engine underneath somewhere to, like, fire up as a brake, kind of like reverse thrusters. All of this is getting very complicated. That's not That's not how I like to play these games. Maybe I'll put out the parachute just a little bit earlier this time. That seems to be, a, once it's deployed, a lot of my brake power. Um, I think I have, yeah, I still have all the brakes turned on full. Okay, good. Yeah, I don't know what else I can do, really. Going full throttle at it probably isn't going to help. You know, but that's, that's how we roll here. Dangerous. Fast and furious. 
loose with the rules. What did they used to call Sarah Palin? What did she used to always say? Going, going rogue? Going maverick. That's what it was. Didn't we just say maverick a minute ago? Isn't that Top Gun? <laughs> We've come full circle. We've come full meta. We've cyclically metaphored. Okay, still going too fast. I really want to know, like, where the stall point is. Like, I'm sure I could, like, I'm sure I could just nose up and throttle up. And keep the speed. Yeah, here we go. I'm under 40 now. Now if I could just maintain some semblance of control. Nope, just speeding up, basically. Okay, it's gonna load in soon. There we go. Oh, we're just, I think we're going like even faster this time. Should I do it in first person? Oh God, no, this is awful. Nope, not gonna do it. Oh, geez. See, I never would have known that we were like pretty far off course. Oh, geez. Going into the drink. Get that nose up. Get that nose up. We're still descending. I don't like this. We're below the deck, basically, now. There we go. Okay. Okay. Got some semblance of control. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Yep. I uh hmm. that was quite the uh, garage the hell we just had here. Where are they going? It's a sad state of affairs. Okay. We'll give it one more try. We're gonna give it one more the old college try. Three strikes and you're out. We're gonna give it the old College dry. This is nerve wracking stuff. I just, I don't think this is going to work. I honestly don't think it's going to work. I should have made it like fucking twice as long. <laughs> or I should have put like a wall at the end. Something just to catch the front wheel. Like not a wall, but like a, a lip of some kind. Because that first round, if we had that lip, it probably would have like, it might have done a front flip and over, but it might not have. It might have just bounced really hard or nosed up a bit, and it might have come to rest. But we, we also can't back up with this craft, so if we do land one, that renders the carrier obsolete unless we push it off into the drink. Fuck, I should have put a little car that drives around, right? Yeah, fuck me. I could probably make... I could probably make a little barge the same height and then put the truck on it, like build it all in one. Just barge the barge out here and then park it right on the ass and just drive the truck across, you know? I could probably figure it out. All right. I thought this time I'd come in a little high and just basically use physics, hopefully, to try and get down on the deck. Oh, I came a little end to the right. Compensating, 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 not compensating. Oh, shite. Got power. Cut power. Oh, we're going to the drink. <laughs> that was quite the tumble. That was quite the tumble. Everyone's everyone's okay though. Kearney actually seemed to have enjoyed the ride. Okay. Like I said, I don't think this is possible, but I'm gonna keep trying with it, and if I get it, I'll make it the thumbnail. <laughs> uh, so if you saw it landed in the thumbnail, 
and it looked hilarious. I, I expect to be hanging upside down probably from that control tower, but I'm not 100% sure. All right, guys, I'm sorry. I did the best I could. I'm going to leave this carrier out here just for show, basically, because it's far enough away from the end of the runway that it shouldn't cause too much issues. I usually turn to the right, not the left, so it, it should be fine out here. If not, I'll push it out a little further. All right, guys, until next time, peace, love, cheers.